the specific heat capacity of an unknown liquid. An unknown liquid has density rho and coefficient of volume expansion beta. A quantity of heat Q is added to a volume V of the liquid and the volume of the liquid increases by an amount delta V. There is no phase change. In terms of these quantities, what is the specific heat capacity C of the liquid? Now we know that in a volume expansion due to temperature change, delta V is equal to coefficient of volume expansion beta initial volume V times delta T. So uh, from this we can obtain the change in temperature delta T in terms of the uh, given quantities delta V divided by beta times the initial volume V. Now the amount of heat added Q is equal to MC delta T and what is the mass of this liquid? It is its density mass per volume multiplied by the volume rho V C and for delta T we substitute delta V divided by beta times the volume V. Now you can see that these volumes will cancel here and since we know the amount of heat added Q uh, we can obtain C as C is equal to beta times Q divided by density rho times the change in volume delta V. So let me finally check if these are all given. Beta, uh, the coefficient of volume expansion is given. Q, amount of heat added is given. Rho, density is given. Delta V, change in volume is given. So in terms of the given quantities, C is beta Q over rho delta V. Okay, so we wanted to determine the specific heat capacity of an unknown liquid provided that we add a certain amount of heat to it and we know the coefficient of volume expansion beta and its density rho uh, and we, we see that the volume of the liquid increases by an amount delta V with no phase change. So delta V is beta V delta T the, that's the amount of uh, increase in the volume due to thermal expansion. So delta T can be written as delta V over beta V. The mass of the liquid is its density times the volume, rho times V. So the amount of heat added, because there is no phase change, is MC delta T. Uh, the, so the specific heat capacity C is the amount of heat added per uh, kilogram per uh, Kelvin uh, so it's joules per kilogram Kelvin for example could be the unit so rho times V is the mass multiplied by C delta T is delta V over beta V so the volumes will cancel we will be left with rho C delta V over beta equals Q so we're going to pull out C here beta times Q divided by rho times delta V will be our final answer.